everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum! Last time! Professor Rowan sent the three of us, that's Barry, Dawn, and yours truly, all off to go check on the Pokemon of the Lakes for his research. And wouldn't you know it, the very lake that I was sent to go investigate, Team Galactic had just blown up and taken the Pokemon of the Lake. Really is just my luck. This time, we are back in Twin Leaf Town. We're gonna go to Lake Verity and make sure that Dawn and Rowan were all right in going to check on that lake. Let's get started. Here we are at Verity Lakefront. That interrupted me, and here we are. Ah, Emil, what timing? Those Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Dawn. How dare you, you misguided thugs! Emil, Dawn needs your help! Ow, ouch, what's with this old timer? I know, his lectures hurt so badly, don't they? We've got some fights ahead of us, let's get to it. It is our mission to stall you. Sorry, but we gotta do our job. Wow, this woman has got really good eyesight. Are those contact lenses that let you see me from that far away? Cause I think that's probably the furthest distance any trainer has seen us up to this point in the story, seriously. Got some double battles. Luckily, they don't have six Pokemon. I can't tell you how happy that makes me after how long those double battles were going on for in Iron Island. Holy crap. Yeah, Krogunk, once again, you bet your anticipation made you shudder. <laughs> Woodhammer and Glimeow, and... Well, I was gonna do Psycho Cut on that, um, Krogunk. That Glimeow actually really knew really well how to use teamwork. Bodhi, with your Quick Claw, just drop the Woodhammer on it. There's no way it's surviving that. Thank goodness I had at least something one shot in an important battle in this time, man. It's just... These moves really feel like... My speed is being risen from that, right! Exactly how I planned it all along! I am more than happy to take that speed buff! Golbat. Okay, even more Pokémon that I can take care of just fine. You... Hmm. None of these moves hit anybody, or uh, hit two enemies in double battles. No, they don't. Pretty sure they didn't. Psycho Cut on Krogunk seems like the way to go. Bodhi, you are not going to contribute anything to this fight. I might as well shift over to Acrobat, and that would honestly be a better use of this turn. Because I can feel it. They're going to use some kind of poison or flying type move in Bodhi's slot. Sucker Punch, miss. Get rid of that annoying Krogunk, and we'll make it two against one. There we go. And I can feel that somebody's going to get a level right here. Come on, I just know it. Or not. Wing attack. Or they use a flying type move on Gallade slot, which was the much smarter thing to do with how high Bodhi's defense is. You do that, and you do that. Show that go bat a go bat. Go bat a real wing attack. I think his actually did more damage. Wow, nothing is going right for me this time. I keep saying that. I need to not be so negative. Let's see what this last Pokemon is. I think I got this locked down pretty well. Bodhi gained some experience, Acrobat 2, and it's a Murkrow. Well, Vacuum Wave is really all I got to use against you. And Cross Poison. Let's do it. Use Nola's priority moves on me, now I get to use some on you. And that does it, wow. Losing was part of my job too. I feel better saying that. You're too young to understand. Again, just the Team Galactic text especially is so funny. It's so great. I love it. You guys... I need to heal. As of this point in the story, the water level in Vake... Vake Larity? No, Lake Verity. Vake Larity, no. The water level in Lake Verity has risen. You can surf on the water, so this trainer battle is not required. If you guys want to be part of this video, no better than to stand against the water next time. I'm going to fight you for the experience nonetheless, but still, I did want to point that out. Perhaps their master plan was using the Galactic Bomb to blast all the water out of Lake Valor, have it come here and then raise the water level so they could surf in it or something? I don't know. That leaves us with only Mars. You will pay dearly for overriding the great music at Lake Verity with this generic, villainous sounding piece. I don't think I need to heal. I could technically heal up a little bit, but I think I'm good. Emil, it's Team Galactic. They're taking the Pokemon of the lake. I, I couldn't beat this person. That face! It brings back bad memories! I'm talking about the Windworks! I got a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. What's with the look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? Fine, whatever. I'll tell you who I am again. I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders! So what is it? Are you some lovey-dovey couple to the rescue? Not a chance! Not even a teeny one! You're all going down! We better look out! Last time we fought her, she'd been working for Team Galactic for... 
almost five minutes. Now she's been working for almost two months. That is especially apparent in her Golbat, level 38, Poison Flying type. Inner focus for its ability, as you would expect. Air Cutter, Bite, Toxic, Supersonic. This sure sounds familiar. That's because it's the exact same Golbat that Saturn had when we fought him. I guess I ship it to Starcross lovers that matter their Golbats. I don't know. Gallade, you got Psycho Cut. I don't need to worry about a dang thing. You're going to one-shot it. No problem at all. Gallade, you gotta love your type coverage. Thank you so much for being so good with art scales. I really, you've been just so amazing in like every battle you've done. Level 40 even, wow. Then Bronzor, gee, this is looking awfully familiar. It's almost like they have these same teams. And you know what? I bet it's gonna survive this fire blast too. Bronzor is level 38, steel psychic type. Also has levitate for its ability, but its moveset is quite different. Gyro Ball, extra sensory, iron defense, and confuse ray. It seems like no matter what moveset a Bronzor has got, it is also built to annoy you. So don't give it any room, just hit it with a strong fire type move, and watch it survive you anyway because it's a freaking tank. Or not. Supernova, you're improving, and I don't think I spoke too soon. Hitting one time out of one time is probably about the best ratio of hits you've ever had with Fire Blast. So I'd say it is improving. And here it is. It's grown a lot. The big bad per ugly. It is now level 40, normal type, thick fat for its ability, holding a citrus berry. Slash, feint attack, hypnosis, and fake out. I'm gonna not take any, well, okay, I guess it really didn't matter what I did that turn if I was getting faked out. Get the flinch and the speed boost, that'll hopefully make me faster than it. I suppose now I can just go for the psycho cut and hope that the damage is enough to knock it out. Let's do it. That thick fat, though, does make things a little bit awkward sometimes, especially if you started with a... Well, actually, no, if you started with Chimchar, I guess, yeah, by this point, you'd easily have Mach Punch. Uh, in the last battle, it was a little bit ambiguous if you'd have Mach Punch or not by that point, so it could be a little tough, but uh, I guess if you are using Piplup as your start Pokemon, it could be awkward here. Uh, I got plenty of berries. I got 44 Chesto berries. Your Hypnosis doesn't phase me whatsoever. Heal that right off. Now what are you doing? Slash. I swear if you crit. Okay, good. And you don't have any priority move. I'm gonna just do Psycho Cut and win this fight. Thank goodness! I swore if that was a damage range. That does it. Wing! Again, and again! Technically only one again, considering we've only fought twice. That would mean that we fought at least three times, that would be the case. I lost again! So, first the win works, and now like, now like Verity that I owe you four. This shouldn't be happening to Team Galactic's commander! Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all this. My mission was to transport the Lakes Pokemon to our HQ. That's right! I accomplished my mission without a problem! Team! We're pulling out! The boss is waiting at the HQ! The Pokemon of the Three Lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grandstanding at Lake Valor, a cavern appeared here. It was the cavern where the Pokemon Mesprit slept. Mesprit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. That worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. So now we've got them all. Mesprit, the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower. Yuxi, the being of intelligence. Now that we have them all, you can look forward to what plans Team Galactic has for them. I see. This also occurred at Lake Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact that you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. But what about Barry? What is happening at Lake Aquity? Is Barry safe? Emil, I need you to go to Lake Aquity right away. I'm worried about Barry. Emil, what is Team Galactic up to? Are the abducted Pokemon of the lakes gonna be okay? Things have gotten real. Two of the three Pokemon of the lake have been captured by Team Galactic, and even though we took out two of the commanders, it didn't stop them from achieving their goal. We have a certain little tuber outside of Pastoria City to thank for this disaster, now don't we? If he didn't stall me for however long, just because our eyes met while I was riding my bicycle, we might have been able to save them. If you leave the area and come back, Rowan and Don change their positions. They just are overlooking the lake, hoping that we're all okay. 
We don't want that. Well, the great music comes back, and that's always a plus, which I'm going to ruin by just getting on my bee barrel here and serving on the water. Yeah, you can surf on this, just like I was saying before, which I'm going to ruin the music even further by finding a wild encounter, and even further by hearing a Psyduck's cry. I am no better than Team Galactic for neglecting to use my max repel in an area like Lake Verity. How dare I interrupt that music even worse than I already did. I did not mean to get off the barrel right there, I was just kind of surfing around a bit. Because the thing that I want to show is that now that we can surf on the water, we can head over to the left here, and there is an item ball! TM38 Fire Blast! How fitting that I picked that up after the luck that I have had with that move. It's staggering just what that move has done for me. Uh, there's some patches of grass over here, but they don't have any different encounters. Really makes you wonder why they even bothered putting them in there at all. But also of interest, we can go into that cave that Team Galactic was talking about, Verity Cavern. We can see that the Pokemon Mesprit is not present here, but we do have this really creepy face made out of puddles. That's one combination of words I was never expecting to say in my life. But, with this, it's kind of weird for me. I feel like we've hit a good stopping point. It'll be a while before the next one, but I can already tell this video is not going to be one of the longer videos in the series by any means, so... Uh, I think I will end this here, just because we've been given our objective of what to do next. We did have a lot of story dropped here, and I just don't think we're going to reach another good stopping point for a really long time. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and exit right here, and yeah. We've beaten Mars, got her out of Lake Verity, but we found out that once again, Team Galactic has accomplished their goal at this lake. So next time on Pokemon Platinum, we're going to be heading up to Lake Aquity in New Lands and see if we can find out what's going on with Barry. See you guys then.